Today, I will be showing you a video of how I repair the backlight on this iPad Pro. This is the 10.5 inch. The uh, uh, repair that was attempted before, they forgot to unplug the battery when uh, attaching the display and they shorted out the backlight. And so I'm going to show you how, you how I fixed that. And I found under here, um, these two diodes had blown, as you may have been able to see. I put a little bit of flux on them, and I'm going to take a little bit of solder. And I'm going to show you how I removed these diodes without using hot air, um, due to the fact that I don't want to remove the logic board from the, uh, the iPad, um, but I don't want to damage the batteries that happen to sit right next to them. So I'm just going to add a a very excessive amount of solder to either side of these diode legs and we're going to carefully liquefy the solder and pull them off with the tweezers. There's one. Clean up those pads so that we can solder on new diodes to a, a flat surface. And we'll go ahead and desolder the second. Once that's off, we'll go ahead and clean up the, the board with some alcohol after, after wicking those pads. I'm just going to add a little bit more flux to make this easier. Alright. After we've cleaned it, I'm just going to go ahead and test these pads just to make sure we don't have any other issues and that they're, um, that everything's reading fine. And we'll go over to the connector and check also the filters that are over by the display connector. So here I'm testing these. Uh, there's two capacitors, one on the top and one on the right, and then there's that filter that's in between them. I'll be checking continuity between the pin and the and the components and ground on the component just to make sure that there are no other shorts. Now that I know that that's good, I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit more flux and I'm going to line up my diodes in place. Now if you're having issues with the backlight, this may be the solution that you need. However, there are other things that can go wrong that can cause backlight failures. Uh, unfortunately, at this time, I do not have schematics, so this is more of an educated guess. Um, obviously, the physical presence of a, of a diode that had uh, burnt out was you know, easy, easy enough to recognize. Um, and as, te as, as I was testing it, I also realized that this was going to fix the issue. Um, but the iPad... Uh, Pro, this is a 10.5 inch, the iPad Pro 9.7 and I think the 12.5, they may be, uh, they may have different um, failures in different areas and uh, so you'll have to uh, figure those ones out with a potential different solution. I got a little bit of extra solder on one of those caps there so I'm going to go ahead and try to remove that best I can. Clean it up. Alright. We'll go ahead and clean up the, the area, clean up the flux with the Q tip and alcohol. Alright, we'll go ahead and connect the, uh, the digitizer there and then the display cables. Now we'll release the battery and push that down and we'll go ahead and turn it on. This is a cracked display, but it, uh, or crack, crack, crack glass, but it still works. So we'll use it to test it. And as you can see, I've got backlight on this device. Touch also works everywhere, so I know that's good. If you like that video, check out some of my other videos. Here's one where I'm doing a Apple Watch Series 3 digitizer replacement. Feel free to subscribe and like these videos if you enjoy them want to see more content.
Thanks for watching.